Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in my Hobby Basics series. Uh, and in this video I thought we'd show the Blood Angels some love, because they're my next favourite chapter after Space Wolves. So I'm going to show you how to freehand the Blood Angel chapter symbol onto a shoulder pad. Now, appreciate you're not going to want to do this for every single model in your army, but it is a nice little skill to have to use on your characters. Make them stand out from all your rank and file, and then you can carry on using the transfer sheets uh, for your regular troops and then also perhaps mix it up with your plastic shoulder pads. Okay, so for this video we're going to need Corax White, White Scar, and some of the base colour, Mephiston Red. So we'll put some Corax White, Mephiston Red, and lastly some White Scar. Now we're going to want the paint nice and thin, so we're going to mix 50-50 with water. You don't want the paint building up on the shoulder pad making it all lumpy, it'll uh, ruin the finish that we're going for. This is nice and thin. This should be enough paint for what we're going to do. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to take some of the Corax white, and first thing we need to start planning out where that chapter symbol is going to come to, the blood drop. Be centered, I'm using where I've placed the highlight, it's going to come to about there. And I want it to finish about there. It's quite a long, slender blood drop, so like that. And then you simply just connect up the dots very carefully. Like that. We can tidy it up as we go, so don't worry too much. You're just getting the shape on there to start with. You could probably widen that a little bit. Okay, looking a bit rough, like I said, don't panic. The paint's nice and thin, so it looks textured, but it's not. It's nice and smooth. And I just need to tidy up the bottom a little bit. Okay, so I just want to thin down that blood drop a little bit. Okay, so next we need to work out roughly where these wings come to on the uh, blood drop. And they come fairly high up, not quite to the top, but almost. And then come about thirds of the way down. Like that. Let's connect those dots up. Then almost meet in the middle around that point there. Then come to about here and here. And a little bit of a curve. Okay. 
and then sort of sweeps down. So the shortest little feather comes to there. And then paint dried on the tip. Sort of to there. You've got that curve. And then same thing the other side. to go up there. Okay, so should have something like that. You just repair this bit. The dot shouldn't be there, it should be uh, Okay, so we should have something something like that. You can see roughly where the points of the uh, feathers will come to. And then, like we did with the uh, blood drop, we just connect all the dots up. So it's not looking that amazing at the minute, but we'll uh, start to fill out these feathers a bit now and uh, see where we are. Making sure your, your paint's still nice and thin. If you're using a wet palette, it shouldn't have any problems. But if you're, if you're using a plastic palette like mine, um, your paint does have a tendency to thicken up quite quickly. So just make sure you're adding water to it all the time so we're not going to start getting lumpy paint on your shoulder pad. Sorry about that, the camera stopped recording, reached its maximum. So that's uh, one side, not too bad. Pretty happy with that. Um, so now we've got to try and <laughs> match the other side. Trying to paint a symmetrical pattern onto a curved surface is uh, great fun. It's good practice. Um, even if you don't want to do this uh, on your characters, doing things like this is good for uh, practicing your brush control. 
can only be good for your uh, painting skills. Okay, so that's the shape roughly shaped in. It's a bit wonky on the uh, left hand side, but we can improve on that. So before I start filling that in anymore now, I'll go back to the red and we'll tidy up the outline, make sure we're 100% happy with it. Now painting red over white is a bit of a pain um, because you'll get pink where you're covering up. But having said that, Mephiston red is really good at covering up. Uh, so as long as you build it up in nice thin layers, it will cover the white quite nicely and you won't get any pink. And all we're doing is we're sort of neatening up the outline anywhere where it's not quite symmetrical. It's freehand, so you can have a bit of artistic license with the design if you want. Give it a bit more flair in certain places. If you were doing this for a competition entry, like Golden Demon, Gonna have to make sure that this is spot on. Don't know if this would pass at competition level, but just wanted to give you characters some extra detail and attention. Should pass for that. Okay, so getting bit more happier with the uh, the design now with the shape of these wings can afford to start to fill in a little bit <clears throat> Better. I wanted to make that a little bit more swept at the bottom rather than a flat. I think it is flat on the transfers, but like I said, you can play around with it. Make it as stylized as you want. Now for the side.
Okay, so now I'll start to fill in the uh, the white with the solid Corax white. Just want to get the um, wing closer to the blood drop ever so slightly, and a bit too far away. I'm pretty happy with that. I stopped fiddling now, I promise. Okay, so we'll move straight on to uh, white, uh, the white scar now. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to just go around the edge and highlight, reinforce the edge of the design and highlight it up a little bit. You might not be able to see this on camera. Now for the other side, we're almost done. Sure you'll be glad to hear. One last tidy up around the edges with the red, really sharpening up that edge. Where it's needed, yours might not need it. Your nerves might be shot to pieces by now, you just want to throw the whole thing in the bin. Like I said, it's good practice for your uh, brush control and a good skill to have, it's worth practicing.
No, what I want is to make sure there's a nice curve on the top of that shoulder pad to the tops of the wings. That sort of follows all the way through both sides. Like that. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it. Now, you can either leave it there like that, or if you wanted to, um, if the rest of your miniature has got some battle damage uh, and you wanted to roughen up that a little bit, uh, we can do like this. So we can get some base color, which is Mephiston Red, and we just gently start to break up the, um, the outline. You don't want to go overboard and actually lose the, uh, the actual shape. I'll just do a little bit just to show you how it works. Just it's very simple, just dab it here and there. Let's the uh, chapter symbol blend in a little bit more. Uh, and you can also use it to disguise any bits that you're not quite happy with. Okay. Maybe a scratch. Not going to do too much, just uh, leave it there, I think. Okay, and uh, that's it. One Blood Angel freehand chapter symbol. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Now, if you're loving the channel, head over to my Patreon community today and become a member, where you'll get exclusive access to even more content. There's a number of other ways to support the channel, whether it's channel merch, the channel Etsy store, or using any of the affiliate links. Links to all of these are in the description below. And remember, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, hit that thumbs up button, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below, and I'll see you guys back here real soon.